LSU has its basketball coach. Okay. Matt McMahon from Murray State is the new head basketball coach at LSU. John Rothstein has sent the tweet out from his official account. Um, look, I think that there was some smoke around Tony Bennett uh, mm-hmm. that I heard, but I had heard that Matt McMahon was right there in the mix as well. Uh, and here he is. And look, this is a 43-year-old coach who has won a ton at Murray State. Um, over his time at Murray State, he has posted seasons of 26 and 6, 28 and 5, 23 and 9, then a 13 and 13 year last year uh, with wacky COVID scheduling, and then this year 31 and 3 and won a NCAA tournament game with the Racers. So this is a guy that's young. This is a guy who's won a lot. He's sustained success at Murray State. Um, I was very, very concerned at this, at how this hire would go because of the massive amount of uncertainty that's drifting all over LSU basketball. Um, I'm pretty happy with this hire, I got to tell you. Uh, I would have been over the moon if they could have gotten Tony Bennett to come here from a national championship winning program. This one feels about right. Um, it feels it feels like a guy who's on the rise, who realized this is his shot, um, who understands the value in building a program, and he's going to have you know, some rough, it's going to be a rough start. His first year, they're probably going to be terrible next year. I don't have any problem saying that. I think his team is going to be bad next year. I think it's going to be very difficult it, it, to, to, to fill the roster out. You, you may have the entire floodgates run out. It certainly has on the signing class and it may on the roster moving forward. But I'm, I'm very happy with the guy who has been to, to really three NCAA tournaments in a row. Um, and, and he's won a game a couple of times. They didn't. Obviously, go two years ago with COVID, and then last year they didn't go because it was a goofy year. They went 13 and 13, whatever, just played OBC games and went 10 and 10. But um, he was back on top of the mountain this year, was 31 and 3, and beating the brakes off everybody they saw in the Ohio Valley. So I'll, I'll do a lot more research this evening on the style of play, look at some interviews and some tape like that. But just knowing the numbers, understanding the program that he's built and sustained there at Murray State, I think Scott Woodward did a really good job here. Yeah, I mean, I think Scott's done a phenomenal job at all the coaching hires he's had. I, I won't go as far as Homer and hire. I think there's some questions, like you said, we need to do a little more research on him. But I, I think when you look at Murray State, obviously John Morant, everyone knows him right now, probably an MVP candidate right now, and being able to recruit a guy like that to your program that's not one of the bigger programs in the country just lets you know uh, what type of recruiting his eye for talent. Um, and I think that's something you're definitely going to need right now. Uh, these next coming seasons, you're going to have to find some guys under the radar, probably not five or four star guys, but, you know, guys that can really come in and play basketball at a high level. And I think uh, a guy like that can definitely do that. So um, I'm excited for this next era of LSU basketball. Hopefully the, the sanctions aren't too bad and we could possibly make a, a tournament run sooner than later. But I, I think for Scott Woodward, this is definitely a great hire. If you look at uh, the timeline, uh, they got their notice of allegations. A couple of days later, they fired Will Wade. Um, you know, you would imagine that Scott Woodward had a list and knew that he very likely was going to have to use it at some point. Um, you know, I, I figure you he would have talked to someone in fractions and they would have a reasonable expectation of what it was that we were going to find and knew that he was probably going to move on. So he's going to have a list. You know, you're not going to disrupt things while the team is going to play in the NCAA tournament. You, know, you allow them to go to the NCAA tournament. They lose on a Friday. Uh, looks like he got dirt work done this weekend. That was kind of the gist of one of the conversations I had yesterday. That, yeah, he's been on campus. We've seen him. Th- we think things are moving. That's why I said, you know, at the beginning of the segment of the hour, I said, look, I think this is going to happen this week. And it turns out it happens, you know, at lunchtime on Monday. So they they kept it quiet. They made it. A, they made a, an offer, and they got their guy pretty quickly. I think. You know, if you're an LSU basketball fan, I think you got to be pretty pretty content with the way things have gone there. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. And I think, you know, the, the job that Scott Woodward's done, uh, you, it can't go overlooked, man. I, I think you feel really great about all the hires he's made, and I think this is right there in that ballpark. You know, a guy that's had success and not a Division One program but continues to find themselves in the NCAA tournament and recruiting guys who are playing at a high level at the NBA level, uh, that's what you want, especially right now with where this program's going to be and where it's headed. Maybe with this hire, you may be able to hold on to some of the guys on the team and they can feel uh, good about, you know, playing some regular season games. I don't know how exciting that's going to be for players. But um, other than that, with all that stuff out the window, I think going forward, um, I don't know how long this deal is, but I think it's a great hire for LSU. Hopefully he can get on the phone with some of these guys that are on the roster and convince them that LSU is the place to be. I I have my doubts, but um, that's that's obviously going to be object number one is to call the current roster and try to keep them in Baton Rouge. But very likely they can't play in the NCAA tournament if they're here. So I just, you know, we will see. We will see. Um, I'm, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited to, to do a little research this evening, listen to some press conferences, watch some game tape, and kind of get a feel for, for the next, uh, next coach of LSU basketball. If you missed it, Matt McMahon 
from Murray State is LSU's new head basketball coach. He has been the head coach at Murray State since 2015. Of course, Coach John Morant uh, at Murray State, where they were they were a high flying squad, won a, won a tournament game, and went back to back years uh, with the eventual number two pick in the draft. So probably can recruit a little higher profile players than that moving forward. But that one turned out pretty good. Thanks so much for watching Hun Hill on YouTube. Now do us a favor. Hit the red subscribe button below and throw us a like. We'll see you next time.